Okay, good day everyone. Today we are having some important guests in the Cetros Foundation Hub. And in case you want to meet with them, they are two strong lawyers heavily produced from the continent of Africa. One of them is... And the second is... Mercy Love. If you really want your life to be turned around by these two wonderful, outstanding, courageous, ever eloquent lawyers that can rule the whole world under five minutes, then you're welcome to the Cetros Blog. Okay, today we are going to be... Um, oh, I forgot to introduce myself. As usual, my name is Dad Sasha, the most handsome, capable African nation, and the late pumping and of my own husband. And today, we are going to be going into the realm of law. These two lawyers, as smallish as they are, sorry, as big as they are, they are confronting Mr. Setro, telling me that I don't know what it is the meaning of some legal terms. And today I'm saying, no problem. I'm going to explain to them what legal terms is because, oh, sorry, what legal terms are. Because when you have children, you have to be very careful. They are marking your tenses and your English, and they are telling you, Daddy, you don't have to speak English. So, I have all the questions with them. They are going to be asking me all the legal terms. So, um, I'm going to start with you, Messy Law. She has her own YouTube channel. Her YouTube channel is called Messy Law. And she has her own YouTube channel. So her own YouTube channel is called Ella, Ella the Law. During this holiday, we bring in the youth and the children that are in school to come and teach them on content creation. Isn't it? Yes. What have you learned from the content creation in Central Studio? Yeah, hey, talk to the people. Art. You've learned art? art yes. Okay. So what did you do in art? Well, I made a rose Whoa. out of crepe paper. Whoa, out of crepe paper. And that's to do a shout out to our beautiful Swiss, Madam Swiss Sistine. We had so many gifts sent in all the way from Austria to Ross. And part of the gift, we have some artwork that have been sent to Ross to help this, our youth. It's majorly sent to our children. And we decided to use it to train the youths that are coming to the foundation and the children. And you enjoy making the roses. Yes. So can you now beat your chest to say, I can make roses? Not really, but yes. I, I did it when I went home. Whoa. So I really, I can't. I yeah. Can't. Let's clap for that. Okay, what else have you learned at the foundation? I learned to be bold. Whoa, to be bold. Good. And also, I learned about editing videos. Wow, editing videos. Wow. So you can edit now? Well, they say maybe. Maybe to some level. Yes. You can edit. Okay. What else? And also, I also learned like um, maybe 18. You, you now know how to present using a green screen. Yes. You know how green screen are set up? Yes. You know how green screen are set up? Yes. Okay. So today, they are going to be asking me, after I've finished teaching them different things in photography, videography, I also taught you how to shoot yes. the cameras, okay? How to take photo shoots and lights, okay? Now, after teaching them, you know children, they're always proud. They are now telling me that me, the father of the house, that I don't know law terms as much as they do. Are you sure about that? Yes. You are sure about that? Yes. yes. That's the problem. When you are surrounded by lawyers, two powerful lawyers that knows their rights, let's start the game. So who is asking me the first question? I. Okay. What is the meaning of a defendant? Meaning of a defendant. Meaning of a defendant is somebody that defends the opponent from scoring ball into their team, like Chelsea and Man U. You have a Wait, defender. Pause there. That's a nonsense. <laughs> a nonsense meaning of a defendant. Sorry, guys. But Why? What do you mean, defender? Somebody that is defending the opponent from scoring the ball. Stop Wait. Yeah. Hey. Okay. Is a person in law case who is accused 
Sorry, is a slip of misplaced English. Okay, no problem. I I agree that you are right. I used because I just forgot. I thought you were asking me football question, legal football question. Okay, now eh, no problem. Over to you. Give me your question. I can answer any question, any legal question. Okay, what is subjugate? Subjugate. Is that the only thing you want to ask me? Is is the opposite when you are opposite a submarine, you sub and you do and you get it. So it's when the gate is before a submarine. Where did you learn this explanation? Did I... you learn it in a cereal box? No, it's a is a is a name born thing. Wait, wait, you are saying correct nonsense. Subjugate is to rule over somebody or a country that allows them no freedom. Oh, are you referring to what is happening in... Hey, my God. In short, I'm confused now. These lawyers, they are... don't worry. Okay, you you won, you won. Okay, no problem. I... Give me another question. I'll get to this time. Okay, what is the meaning of defamatory? Defamatory is when you have been defamed. You have a farm before, they now remove the farm from your control. Oh, hey, hey. Did, you, did you not say defam? Defamatory. Am I saying a farmer? See, Oga, if you don't know your law terms, better go and ask a lawyer to teach you how to know your law terms. The meaning of defamatory. Defamatory. Sorry, people. The, the meaning of defamatory is. Damaging the good reputation of someone. You are busy saying um doing this and that so 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 so. If you don't know your know your lot terms, I'm a guy. saying that we are defeating you because I won, she won, I won again. Okay, no problem. Since you have won, I have speaking big, big English on me. No problem. Defe maybe because of the way you pronounce it, defamatory. It's supposed to be defamatory. Anyway, since nobody's catching up on what I'm doing, uh, I'm going to ask the next person. What's your next question? Who is a complainant? Complainant. You know what I like uh, this uh, messy law? She always gives me simple, simple questions to answer. My people, come closer. A complainant is somebody that is coming plain to say, look at me, oh, I am a plain person. Yes. You have cute English. You have killed it, like you have killed it. Yes, now I have more than English because I'm a English phobia. Look, if you don't know a lot of terms, don't say rubbish. Because complainant is somebody that gives the complaint in a is the party that gives the complaint in a legal case or a legal proceeding. Now I'm confused. It's like maybe because of the public school I went to. You people went to private school. So your private school are really trying. Private schools are really, really trying. In public school, I'm not sure. Maybe they didn't teach us in that. It's not part of our subject. Complainant. Anyway, let's give it to them. Let's give it to them. Let's give it to them. You guys are trying. Okay, I'll move to the next person. I know the next question you're going to ask me. I'm going to get it. What's your question? What is the meaning of derogatory? Can you imagine? Dero Did you Pronounce it again. Derogatory. 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 This girl is very wicked. She asks me some tough questions sometimes. But it's a very simple thing. Yes! Derogatory is, in Yoruba we call it duro. Duro means stand up. It's when somebody is standing up and is gay tree. And is cutting the tree. In Yoruba they say gay. Gay means cut. Tree. Tree is tree. Tree is plant tree. Tree can be any decent. So when you are duro... You are standing and you are gay and you are cutting trees, derogatory. See, Oga, if you don't know law terms, don't misrepresent me and my learned colleague. Oh. Because of you don't know that why I might be thinking that we don't know our law terms. Okay, so what is tell the world now what is the meaning of derogatory? The meaning of derogatory is showing a disrespectful attitude. Or guys, this is saying I'm talking about Yoruba, are we adding Yoruba? Do you know that you are becoming derogatory to me? You are talking to me like that because you are on stage? How can you be so derogatory? You are... Oh, sorry. In short, you, you got it. 
Because mm. I'm sorry. See? My Lord, my Lord, I put it to you that I am sorry. See, I can take you to the silos for this. Oh, I'm sorry, ma'am. Or ma you spend. No, 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 no. I don't, I don't want to. Yeah, that's that slow. No, 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 no. I would rather prefer to be in Ogbo shop drinking. I, I think I will call Dr. Ojo to explain what I'm drinking there. Okay, now we go over to you. I love this one. She asks me simple, simple questions that I can answer easily. Easily. Clap for me, Mr. Setro. Who knows legal terms like myself? I can even become a lawyer overnight. Go to law school in my village. Egbados. Okay. Okay, what is appeal? I said it. You always give me simple, simple questions. Can you repeat the question? What is appeal? Appeal. Very simple. Have you heard the, the word appeal before? When you now put appeal, it's like you want to peel an orange. <laughs> and I come and say, ah, peel it. Ha, peel. Is a process whereby an individual or subjugated individual decide to peel an orange. And people now shout it, don't peel it, don't peel it. And I say, ah, you have peeled it. So instead of saying you have, they say, ah, peel. So that's appeal. You have stopped us saying nonsense. Again? Correct nonsense. Again? Wait, do you even know Lord Thames? Are you sure what you are saying is Lord Thames? Appeal do is... Do you know why I'm angry? I'm a lawyer. I used to attend law school in my dream. I... But these small, small children, they are just so disrespectful. They are subjugating my subjugations. <laughs> and... Let me tell you what is appeal. Okay. Appeal is when a defendant or an accused takes his case to a higher court after being convicted at a lower court. You are there saying what I don't know. Now I know what these two are doing. They are trying to confuse my medulla oblongata. They are trying to confuse me. You are mentioning lower court and higher court. Court is court. There is no one that is low. There is no one that is high. For example, they can build a court in a low place, does that make it low? No. Is example if they build a court upstairs, does that make it high? Anyway, no problem. Over to you. Ask me any question. This time I'm fortified. Fortified, okay. Uh -huh. So what is the meaning of acquittal? Acquittal. Very easy. Acquittal. If you are a student of the Bible, you would have heard it. That's why it's always good to take your children to church. You people have not been going to church. When you are talking of Aquila, it's just like you have Aquila and Priscilla. So when Aquila was now, what was it she even doing? Is it a she or a him? Okay, you are talking, is a process of talking about Aquila in a special place. That's Aquita. So all those people that are the families of Aquila, they are called Aquita. People see, don't mind this man like this saying rubbish up and down. The meaning of acquittal is when the judge cannot find the accused is guilty of a crime. You agree? When the judge cannot find that the accused is guilty of a crime, that's acquittal. Yes. Okay, no problem. Since with this your week, oh, with this your week that is making you look like a. Uh, all these uh, slave trade people that the white keep. Why are you putting on this week? You think it's because of this week I'm afraid of you? Let me tell you. It's just because I learned a dictionary. That's how she has been able to know the meaning. You know, they updated the dictionary, so I didn't know that they've updated it. So, acquittal is a process in which the judge cannot find the accused to be accused again. Abby, if they can't find the accused, you go home now, so we are going home. Now over to you. Give me your your question. What is the position? What did you say? The position. Why is I, I just like this girl. This law this this messy law. What is deposition? Deposition is a process whereby God deposited new mineral resources in Africa and he forgot about US, Canada, and Europe. Yes. It's only in Africa God deposited all the mineral resources. What's that? Are you laughing at me? Because she saw that I got it. No, like, you need deliverance. That's why I'm doing that first. You need to go to church. They need to... You need deliverance. Mountain of fire. You are yeah, setting... You are saying nonsense. Correct nonsense. So what is the correct one? 
The position is an oral statement given outside the court. It is often used as a like a evidence to see if the accused is guilty or not. At this point in time, I want to say that English is not by force because this two lawyers they are busting my bubbles, they are busting my brain, they are making my medulla oblonga that will be like medulla oblonga fish. So their position is not to end God, their position mineral resources in the soil. It is a process whereby you say what? Don't say it again. Oh yeah, you give me your question. Nonsense. What is the meaning of that? Boy. That boy. <laughs> Since you know too much, what is now the meaning of this your affidavit? Don't know how to pronounce it. Don't say it. The meaning of affidavit is a written statement made under oath. This aga You would have said Ota David, not affidavit, because it's made under oath. Anyway, okay. I will I will accept what you have said. No problem, because I know you your mouth is like a electric pump pumpkin leaf. Affidavit, affidavit, and it's sound the thing is even sounding like affi affi. Ah, gosh, is I'm supposed to have even know it in Yoruba. When you say Afi, Afi Tiki Bashi, Minimo Soto, it's like you are swearing that Afi. In short, I leave it to God. Okay, you, what's your, what's your own question? My own question is what is arrest? You sound too much like an English lady to me. Can you, can you bring it closer to the origin of a Yoruba man? What is arrest? Arrest. I love this lady. I love this girl. The simple definition of arrest is when there are a lot of people and they are arresting under a tree. And they are now asking them, what are you doing under this? You now say, arrest. Arrest. They are saying, we are arresting, though, because in Yoruba, when you say, ah, ah means plural of people that are arresting. So, arrest. They are arresting under the tree. God, you were so close to making sense. I was so close to <laughs> making sense. Let like, no more. Ah. How old are you? Hmm. How old are you? I'm eight. You are eight years. This guy is now up to ten era. Sorry, he's now up to ten years. <laughs> Telling me that I'm close to making sense when I'm not the president of a country I don't want to mention. Since no problem. 419. 419. Mm. The meaning of arrest is when is the first stage of a criminal prosecution and uh, when the accused is brought under detention? Oh. Ah. It's brought under detention. Ah. You almost said something correctly. Arrest. Ah. Detention. Arrest. Detention. Detention. Sorry. This detention you mentioned now. Is it that there was a tension in the land? So they're now deleting detention. Because the... Tension, delete tension. Okay, delete. I don't see the reason why English should be confusing us like this. I'm already feeling threatened by these two Silicon Valley lawyers. Okay, now this is a very tough lawyer. Now, let's give me big, big English. Oh, yeah. So, this is the last question we'll be asking. Oh, thank God. I'm going to get this one. Mm. Mm. Lazy. I'm 45. You're lazy. I'm lazy. Yes. 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 Thank God for the last question. No. no, 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 no. I'm not lazy. Bring more, bring more, bring more. I'm listening. Okay. What is the meaning of arraignment? See, she gave me arrest. This one said arraignment. <laughs> arrest. Arraignment. Since arrest, you, what did you say arrest was? Arrest is the first stage of a criminal prosecution when the accused is brought under detention. So, Arraignment is the combination of arrest and making it to be a multiplier effect under what we call a, 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 a calculus of multiplicity. So when there are plenty of arrests, we call it arraignment. Arrant nonsense. What warrant nonsense are you saying? I is, Ogasi, if you don't know law terms, I will warn you for the last time. Then that one comes out the lawyer to teach you. <laughs> to, that is to bring me to jail. 
<laughs> if you say one more nonsense thing, you are going to the you are going to jail. You are going to prison. No. Okay, okay. All of you listen. Subscribers, followers on YouTube, please. I want you to come to my rescue. Do you think that these children are better than me when they come to long, long terms, long terms? Yes. English is cursing up in my mouth.